trans differentiation is the transference of one type of cell into another, and it's a huge challenge in regenerative medicine. But we have found that crayfish are able to do this. Uh, they're able to turn blood into neurons, which is incredible and not really something we had seen before. Yeah. I think it's it's pretty amazing, especially because they're not using like normally you'd have to use a stem cell to to change like one group of cells into well, you're another. We're talking type. to me about starfish utilizing stem cells, but this is a little bit different. So they're using their own blood cells that exactly. they're gathering uh, in the niche uh -huh. at the back of their brain. And uh, Tim, walk us through it. Uh, so basically they put tracer cells onto crayfish blood cells. So they they watched where those hemocytes went. They found they ended up in this area of the brain called the niche, mm -hmm. uh, which produces these cells that travel up through the eye stalks and around the brain and end up through a 10 phase process in becoming new neurons. And then when all was said and done, the tracer cells that they used were you know, sending off neurons. They, they were doing They found them in certain regions of the brain that they were studying thanks to those tracers. Yes. So we were watching See, this is this is super interesting because this is not something that this is something that would be super helpful in medicine, but we haven't gotten to that point yet. But perhaps this research can help us along the way. Mm -hmm. I find that brain diseases, especially in the wake of Robin Williams, are some of the scariest and you know most difficult to fight. So it's cool that this type of science could lean lead to us, you know, changing the architecture of the brain and you know developing new and regenerative brain cells. Yeah. So I think it's really cool. So yeah. this is not something we can do naturally at all. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting that crayfish fish. can. Or so Wolverine. we're or Wolverine. Or Wolverine. You're right, Sanders. Sure. Thank you for that. No problem. Uh, That's but what I'm here for. <laughs> this research should help us on our way to that kind of medicine. Thoughts? Besides, oh, damn, that's cool. Right. <laughs> um, no, I just I think it's amazing. I wondered why it took so long to find it, but I guess it, there's not a whole lot of research going on on crayfish, you know. But it makes you really it makes you think twice when you're sucking out the brains of yeah. the crayfish that you're eating, like which this, I can't do. Oh, uh, it's so good. <laughs> no, we no, need that research, <laughs> Sander. <laughs> I He's can't holding science. I, I can't eat the Woo. gross part of the thing because of research, <laughs> like, but not really. These used to be blood cells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but on the serious note, <laughs> yes, this is the beginning of some very interesting research for regenerative medicine for human beings. Please let us know what you think about all this in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.